to subscribe to my channel you'll be very welcome now today I'm going to have a little go at making the stethoscope for um, our vet center so the wire I'm going to use is this wire it's the type of wire you'd get around Christmas presents holding toys and that type of thing into the packaging so I've got that and I'm going to I've got it as straight as I possibly can and I've just folded it at the top and I've taken my pliers and I've squeezed it in together now for the top piece what I want to do is just to pop a button on it like that and slip it through should go in nice and easy like that there we go so put that button in place there okay and then I'm going to just tie a piece of um, elastic as well onto it so I'm just tie a knot and I'm going to leave myself a little bit of a room on the edge of it uh, this will just help it stay on when the dolls are using it so I've got one and two there we go and I'm going to put the end of it down with the end of this here so that it's going to go into my um, the, the, the arms for my stethoscope and I've got this lovely piece of straw and it's not straw for um, like an ordinary plastic straw it does has a hole in it but it was it came in like a plastic packet of things to make for um, a mobile so I grabbed that and I thought I could cut it off and it's reasonably bendy so it should be okay so I'm going to just put in my piece of um, wire now if you wanted to you can try and wrap that spare piece of elastic around it just so that it, hopefully it might go in with the elastic okay and I'll just hold it there and as I'm pushing the, the wire down I'm going to see if I can push the elastic in with it there you go so that'll just get rid of that piece of elastic all right and as you get down to the end and you've pushed it right down as far as it will go I'm going to put some hot glue at the top here just to seal that very end there onto it so I should put a dab of hot glue right across the back and don't worry too much because we can paint this afterwards all right so that's that side it's got a nice bit of glue on that piece so that's one side of the stethoscope okay and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other one so I'm going to put that one out the way there we are right let's just, just leave that one to dry off for a minute or two as I said don't worry because you can um, paint it afterwards what I did with this one is once I'd got once it was getting a bit drier just took my uh, piece of uh, greaseproof paper and laid it across the top so I flattened the whole area out because it'll make it a bit better, easier to paint if it's flat okay so just do that and then leave it on there and in a second when you take it off it'll be a bit flatter on there like that okay so the next thing I did was I took I didn't have quite enough but this is the end of a toothpaste tube and I just made two holes in it I used a blade but you could use a little drill if you've got a drill and I'm just going to do it exactly the same I'm going to take this and I'm going to poke it up inside my um tube like that okay now if it's too loose what you can do is take your wires and fold them over give them a nice tight bend and give them a little twist around and then that should keep that in there a bit tighter if so you can get it in is that just that first bit getting it in through the uh thing there you go it's in and then once we've got it on and it's in place like that I'm going to put some glue down in that piece and that one's come off that's not too bad on the back there you can neaten that up with a knife and just take any bits off that you don't want coming off before you paint it all right so I'm just going to put some glue onto here now and I'm going to fill up that tub on the top with glue so it's there it is there and it's standing there and I'll just get it in so it's in the center and we're just going to fill this up around the base with a bit of glue just be really really careful with hot glue it can burn your fingers so just be really careful so I filled that up all the way around so that should stay in there and stand up nicely like that so just give that a minute or two to just dry off and whilst you're doing that you can be putting your next pieces of wire in so we've got a piece going in that end 
and a piece going in this end. So this is the top piece. We're going to pop that in there, all right, like that, leaving a nice long piece there. I'm going to do the same with this piece here, and I just check that they are definitely still the same size. Yep, that's okay. And slide that one in. Get that right in nicely. Right, once you've got them in and you're happy with the way they are, just pull them out a tiny bit and put glue just on this end bit here. Hang on, sorry, my glue stick's just drying out. And that will just hold that in place. All right, just whistle a bit around like that, and then just shove that in before the glue dries. Okay, and as soon as that's dry, you can take this glue off, which is outside. And do the same again with this piece. So whilst that one's drying on that side, what I did was I just cut a piece of cardboard, drew a circle around it, and then just cut out a piece of card and then just made it smaller until I got the size of the bottom of it. And I'm going to take that bit out again, put some glue inside. Okay, just a big dollop of it. There we go. And then stick that piece of cardboard back in. There, all right. Ah, hot. Careful, be really careful, it is really hot. And that will do for the bottom of your stethoscope. Okay, and then we can paint that silver once it's all dry and it's all ready to go. Okay, so I'll leak up that piece there, get that out of the way. And we're just going to pop these two pieces with the pieces of wire here and here. I'm going to remove those pieces of glue which was stuck around there. You can take those off with your knife, all right? Just take off any excess glue. And then we're gonna take these two pieces and make sure they're facing like that, so they're facing the right way. And then we're gonna pop them, one and two, into our bottom tube, like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same. We're gonna pull them out just a tiny bit and cover that with glue. All right. Not glue on, on that side and on that side. Okay. And then push it back up nice and firm so it's going in there nice and firm and holding together nicely. Just press that down. I love working with having a piece of grease proof paper or they call it bake barking, baking parchment when I'm using um, hot glue, it really helps because you can um, touch, it means you can get in there and work with it, but you don't get any of it on your fingers. All right, and then what I will do is I would just come around and pull off any excess. And I've got it sat nicely on there together. That's it, all right. There we go, and in a minute, once that's dry, I'll just clean that up. So I'm gonna go. And they will bend as well, especially with it because they've got that wire inside them. So, and then we will paint this bottom silver, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. So I've painted the black. As you can see, it came out all fine, absolutely fine, no problems. You can hardly see that. So it's all those are all right at the top. And I'm just going to go over, and I'm going to get black paint all over me a second ago, just by picking that. And I'm just going to paint this silver now. This silver is going to, probably going to take two or three coats before I can get it to the um, stage I want it to because the black is really uh, nice and fit but the silver just seems to be a bit more runny but what I want to do as well is to go in here and paint all that silver and what I also did was I took a tiny piece of black duct tape and I've just made uh, put it on that tiny bit at the middle and you see just a really, really small piece and just stuck it on that centre piece. I'm just going around now. I should do all inside here where the glue has been, like that. And I shall make sure I do the bottom of it silver as well. Um, but as I say, it'll probably just take a few coats. Okay, and there we go. 